What's the, uh, what do you see as the county's role in fighting global warming and climate change? Well, I think that uh, under the previous administration, there's been a great deal of focus on that. Um, also at the state level, we will certainly comply with all the laws and regulations uh, that uh, the state has imposed. And, uh, and we will be a county that is known for caring about our, our, our air and our water and our mountains and our forests. At the same time, uh, we want strong environmental policy that's based on science. I, I say we have to have people whose hearts are in the right place, but their heads have to be in the right place as well. This, is, this cannot be an emotionally driven uh, policy effort. We have to do good thinking. And, uh, and I, I have a, a sort of a funny story, and it, it's just one little tale of, uh, uh, of an environmental effort that went awry. Um, uh, people who have acreage near Carnation, uh, farmed by the family for three generations. The fellow who owns it now, or you know, is the grandson of the original owners. He grew up there. He knows the property very well. The county comes and says, we need to plant willow trees along your stream so that it can protect the fish. And they need the shade. And he said, well, it'll be great for the fish, but it'll be better for the beavers. So uh, certainly, uh, indeed, the, the uh, willows went in. The beavers came and, and chopped them down and got the branches and made beautiful dams on a stream that had not had dams before. It flooded this winter because of those dams. Uh, by May, the pasture land still had not dried out. And, uh, and so this was policy gone awry. The, the county had to come back and dig up the willows. You know, I don't know what it cost the county, but I think that if they had sat down with the landowner and said, we want to provide more shade, uh, what do you think would work? That landowner would have said, don't put in willows because the beavers will come. And, uh, and that's the kind of, we have to be common sense when it comes to our environmental policies. And that's what, and we need to listen to the experts. The fellow who lives on that land and has all his life knows a lot. And we need to listen to the people who um, know the land and care about it and want to preserve it and not just have government bureaucracy bureaucrats come in and say, well, this is what's going to happen here.